Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to Old World and in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the shortcut keys that are very useful in this game that the game doesn't really tell you about. A couple of them are briefly mentioned in the tutorial. Obviously you can see them if you look in the options menu with the key bindings. Sometimes you will see them pop up in the loading screen hints, but it doesn't go through all of them. And you can see them when you click on certain uh, units and buildings. But again, unless you're looking for them, you're not necessarily going to find them. So some of the first ones which I find the most useful are the ones for workers. So if I go ahead and select a worker here, this worker is currently busy, but that is fine. So one that is particularly useful, and it is mentioned if you mouse over roads, and you will see that there is an option there that says press Control and R to enable road to mode. So if you want to build a road to somewhere, but you don't want to necessarily uh, tell your worker each individual turn to move from tile to tile and build a road. You simply hold control, hit R, and then you basically move where you want the road to go to. And the worker will take the sort of path of least resistance to connect up your two locations via roads. You can see the little yellow hexes telling me where the road will go. Another great thing that you can do with a worker selected is you can find out what it's possible to build in a tile. So normally, if you have a worker standing on a tile, all of the available buildings a worker can build on the tile he's standing on will appear up here in the top left-hand corner of the interface. If I move my mouse over another tile, nothing changes. However, if you hold down Control... Control will then show you what you can build on the tile that's currently highlighted. So as I move the tiles around, or as I move the mouse around, the um, available buildings or available improvements will change. You will also notice the little star that indicates what the AI thinks is the best improvement for that tile will also change. So it's a good way if you're looking at a, spe a specific tile over here and thinking, what can I build there? Have the worker selected, mouse over the tile, hold down control, and it will give you a list of what you can build on that tile. Now, this one should be one that is well known to everyone, but I will just cover it in case it isn't. And that is sometimes you will have a building that you can't build because you don't have enough of a particular resource. So for example, if I were to mouse over the courthouse here, you can see at the bottom where it says construction, it requires 72 stone and one order for four years. However, I don't have 72 stone, I have zero. Now I could buy the stone if I click on this several times or use shift click or control click, I could buy a lot of stone. But what I could do instead is hold down the alt key now, if you notice, um, if you notice here at the bottom, it says hold alt to buy 72 stone for 2,393.4 gold. Providing I have the gold, which I do, all you need to do is hold down alt and then you'll be able to click on that and it will then allow you to build that i also would have to hold down control in this instance because right now uh, i'm building a market here so in order to uh, replace the market i also have to hold control to force it to do that so you've got the option there of uh, replacing a current building so that's pretty much how workers work there's one extra thing you can do with workers and you can do this with military units as well and that's queuing orders so i've got a worker over here working on this market if i wanted to then build a farm over here i could hold down shift and then i can right click on this tile which will then tell it to move here when it can on the next turn and then while still holding shift i can go and click farm and it will now queue a farm on this tile I can then continue holding shift, or I can let go of shift and then hold shift again. Right click over here to highlight this tile. And then I could go and click on quarry. So you can queue up multiple actions for your workers, including build orders. And if you want to cancel those, just go over to the cancel action queue here. Or if you hold shift and click it, it will just undo the last action in the queue. Or without shift, it will remove the entire queue. So those are the shortcut keys for workers. I find those very, very useful. 
there are lots of really useful shortcut keys in this game. So, for example, you can use um, F to fortify. Uh, you can use R to cut vegetation. Those aren't the sort of shortcut keys I'm going to go for because you can pretty much do all of those by hitting buttons here. And all of those things are listed uh, on, on the side t uh, tab. One that is very useful that you'll use often probably is orders. Occasionally you'll want to buy some orders and you can spend training to buy orders. The default shortcut key for that is O for orders. So if you just go ahead and press O, every time you do it, you will spend training and receive additional orders. Now the next list of shortcut keys are the ones that I wanted to really get into. These are the ones that I find can be quite useful. So the first lot are shortcut keys that hide things on the on the map. So first of all, if you hold down Z, it will hide all of the vegetation. So as you can see, as I hold down Z, all of the trees and all of the scrub disappears off the map. It can make it a little bit easier if you're trying to see where there are resources, you're trying to see where you've got roads, or you're trying to see where you have... Um, various improvements and upgrades already in there if i zoom out a little bit more it might make it a little bit more obvious so holding down z removes all of the vegetation if you hold down shift and z it will hide all of the improvements again it makes it a little bit easier for you to see where you have roads uh, for you to see where you have um, urban areas obviously where i've got quarries you can still see big holes in the ground but it just removes a lot of the clutter off the map now you have to hold the keys in order for that to show you can also hold Alt and Z, and that will hide all of the all of the units. Now it does keep the unit um, badges above them, but it just removes the unit models. So if I go, for example, and just zoom in over here on this um, whatever this is, this uh, cavalry unit here. If I hold Alt and Z, the unit disappears, but you can still see the icon above it there. And you've also got the option if you hold down Shift and Alt and Z. And it'll basically hide everything and just show you the map pretty blank. Not too sure how useful that is, but there you go, you can do it. I have to be honest, though, whenever you do this, the game does lag quite a bit. It really sort of stutters and as everything disappears and reloads. So I'm not too sure why those have been included. Uh, another useful one is if you actually hold Alt and X, that will hide the entire UI. Um could be useful if you want to take screenshots but it doesn't toggle the ui so once you let go of those keys the ui does come back uh, but it, you know you can get some sort of rather nice screenshots if you um if you use that combination of buttons you can get a nice look at the map uh, so the next few shortcut keys i'm going to go through are ones that can be toggled on and off as in they can be locked or you can just hold down a key in order to show them so the first one we've got and we probably need to find some enemy units here is zone of control if we hold down x i mean we can see our own ones as well if we hold down x we can see all of the tiles that have zone of control these carthagian units aren't showing up with any because they don't have any they're they're chariots and um onagers here uh, but where we do have other enemy units Holding down X will show a zone of control. Even around the sea, buildings that have zone of control, defensive buildings, you'll be able to see those uh, where those tiles are. So if you move through those orange tiles, it uses up your movement basically because it's zone of control. Now what I'm doing here is I am just pressing X or holding it. When I let go of it, the zone of control disappears. Now the lock key is shift. So if I hit shift and X, it will toggle it on. And then shift and X will toggle it off again. I think also... If you toggle it on, uh, yeah, pressing X doesn't turn it off. So you have to use Shift and the key to turn it on, Shift and the key to turn it back off again. So as well as Zone of Control, there's also Danger. Uh, if you press C, it will highlight for you where all of the combat units are. The only problem is when you're holding down these keys, you can't actually use W, A, S, and D to scroll around. It kind of just lags out because your keys interrupt. Uh, but holding down C will instantly show you where all of the units are. It will tell you what promotions they have on them. Once again, you can hold Shift and C to turn that on. So you can see all of those units. Uh, there's also V. Now, V will show you any units that are idle. Uh, they will also show you any units that are uh, have a promotion 
that is ready to be used. Again, you can use Shift and V to turn that on. I don't think I've got any units waiting for, for promotions here, but you can see where I do have idle units just sort of standing around gaining XP. So that's another useful uh, useful one. So that one is V or Shift and V. Then we have B. B is your trade network. So this is for joining cities together. So again, Shift and B toggles it on. Everything that can carry trade or anything that can link your cities together is shown by a green tile so that is basically anything that's adjacent to a river anything that is a body of water which is a lake or a sea any urban tile and any road tile so if you want to make sure that two cities are joined together you need to make sure that they are connected via an unbroken uh, chain of green hexes and that will link the two cities so if they're not linked via lakes rivers or the sea build a road to link those together so that's trade as well as that though which was uh, shift and b we can also just do n and n will just highlight for us the roads and rivers it also shows us the uh urban improvements in yellow because urban tiles have roads by default if you have an urban tile it counts as a road so you move through it the same speed that you'd move along a road and it links your cities together so sometimes you don't need to build roads to link two cities you can just build uh, hamlets and tiles that spread your urban sprawl if they link up that will join the cities but rivers show up in this dark blue color so that's roads and rivers uh, you've also got m M will show you the resources and improvements. Again, it really lags. You saw how long it took. Now, they're all appearing nice and quickly. If I move to a new area and hold down M again, I was doing it now, but it, it is quite a laggy thing. But holding that down will show you where all of your upgrades are, which is really useful because some of them are hard to spot. They've got very similar looking buildings. So again, that is M. You can hold Shift and M and toggle that on and toggle that back off again. Another really useful one is comma. Comma will show you the yields that each tile is generating. Once again, shift and comma will hold that on. Obviously, it's very messy. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's very busy, but it is a good way to see what your tiles are producing. Uh, it only shows you tiles that you have improved. It doesn't show you yields from empty tiles because obviously by default, empty tiles don't have yields until you put something on them. So that's, that's comma or shift and comma. And then finally, you've got, um, now this one doesn't have a lock, so just pressing the key on its own doesn't work, but shift and forward slash removes the hex grid. Uh, I know some people like to play with the hex grid off because it makes the map look a little bit more realistic, not obviously that it does with all the massive icons everywhere in the city borders, but shift and forward slash will turn the hex grid on and off. And that's basically it. Those are the main shortcut keys. Uh, there are a few more. And like I said, there are ones for fortifying, for healing, um, for promoting units. You can have a look at those in the uh, options in the key bindings. But these are the ones that I th f find the most useful. There's so many times where I'm looking around going, okay, I've got a unit here, but I want to put this unit on a range. It's a, it's a ranged unit. Do I have a range anywhere? And they're really hard to spot, but just holding down M, and I can go, okay, oh, there's a range there, and then I can go and move the unit onto the range. So that's that's really, really useful. Uh, it's also really good when you're trying to connect your cities together, thinking, well, okay, how many sections of road do I need to build? You can just hold down B and then go, well, okay, I've got the river here, so that they're connected, and you know, I just need a couple of tiles of road here to join these two together. So it's really useful learning these uh, shortcut keys because they will make your game easier so i hope you found this video useful if you have please do consider leaving a like on the video your comments below uh, if there's any shortcut keys that you're aware of that maybe aren't documented because i've got the feeling there might be a few uh, then please do leave them in the comments below and if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing because it's really great to see the channel grow thank you very much for watching i'll see you on the next video and until then goodbye for now